Coach Turner wrote back this running back from New Jersey that he thought fit what we do, thought it would be a great addition to the group that we had coming back. Showed me the highlights, and I said, uh, no. Didn't like his top end speed. In the state finals, he wins it by about 10 meters. And we would play Glassboro, and we would see Corey Clement you know, just running all over the field. That next year, he was at Wisconsin. And I'm like, okay, this guy we've been watching, 30 minutes down the road from me, is at a Division I program. If he can do it, you know, why can't I? Came in, and believe it or not, he was fourth on the depth chart. And that didn't last long. I just wanted to be a guy who was consistent, someone you could count on each and every single day, practice, game, every year. See him cut across the field, that's a little money. You see him break out for a long run. That's like Melvin Gordon. I think he got the full package, you know, he can do everything. You know what makes Jonathan Taylor so good? He finds holes in the defense where there are none and picks up positive yardage. He is a sensational running back. Really, I, I thought that it was my, my duty to raise the bar. After meeting with multiple guys, legends, Melvin Gordon, Ron Dane, a lot of the things that they talked about were just trying to raise the bar for the next group of running backs to come in. The winner of the 2019 Dope Walker Award is Jonathan Taylor, Wisconsin. Jonathan Taylor still on the move, breaks two tackles down the sideline. Can he get a block? Taylor. 14 tackles a week to go. Here's Taylor picking his way forward. Taylor off the counter on first down. He's got a gap to show off the speed. Taylor breaks a tackle. They run it for the first down and then some. Taylor in the move. Jonathan Taylor is going to house it. Touchdown, Badgers. JT working first. JT first down. Jonathan Taylor rolling. Touchdown. Wisconsin 72 yards. <laughs>